why. Hello fellow truth seekers. I am Vincent Van Gogh the 23rd. I am the 23rd perfect clone from the genes originating with the impressionists Vincent Van Gogh the artist. I suffer from the majority of the same maladies as Vincent. This is our shared blessing and paradoxically our shared flaw. They have deemed me to be an incurable. These are my personal problems, but let's examine something of our present state of affairs. Let's do this together for a few moments. You will please think hard alongside of me if you will. Thank you very much. Inquiry is our goal. I have been thinking about various things. And above all, I have been observing. You can observe a lot by just watching. It is said that God created the universe in seven days. The Bible says this to be the truth. It is written in the Old Testament as if God himself dictated it. I say that this is primitive thinking. Believing in magic. Albert Einstein said that it was comforting to know that the universe could so easily be understood. Just a couple of simple formulas should do it. Sorry, Dr. Einstein. This is another example of primitive thinking. Einstein, you are guilty of creating an answer first and then hand-picking facts to match your preconceived conclusion. Albert Einstein this is not science. Einstein, you once said that God does not roll the dice. That God does not play craps with the universe. Dr. Einstein, you are wrong. Another victim of primitive thinking. Dr. Albert Einstein as you got older. You forgot how to practice the art of science. You became a theologian. I, for one, look out over the vastness of space and I am awestruck at its complexity and unending variety. I then look at the small, the atom, into the nucleus, we find quarks and tachyons, etc., etc., and down further to an infinite dance of new particles, ever-changing patterns and waves. And once again the variety of what we find is infinite. Dr. Albert Einstein and other theologians would like us to believe that this can all be explained in a short paragraph or a few simple formulas. Well fellow truth seekers let us examine this in greater depth and with deeper concentration. Considering the great amount of complexity we find when going outward and then venturing inward, isn't it more comforting to realize and to understand that? To explain all of this, we'll take volume after volume, and row after row of an endless number of books. Book after book. Books stacked towards infinity. To be great scientists, we need to become innocent again. Forgetting all of our preconceived notions. Forgetting what we think we know. Yes. This is how I see it.